Here we have the Tesla Model X 90D. This is a 2016 version. Very flash car, fully electric, and of course, zero emissions. The Model X retails in New Zealand for 159,000 as standard, with a number of optional extras, many of which were included with this demo model, including smart air suspension, enhanced autopilot, and 22 inch silver turbine wheels. Our goal is to, is to get to cars that everyone can afford as soon as possible, um, but any technology has to go through a learning curve and has to go through economies of scale and, and that kind of thing. Probably the most talked about feature for the X are, of course, the Falcon Wing doors, which access the second and third row seats and instantly turn heads to all those who pass by. The other great thing about this car is the little key, which is really, really small and looks like this, which can control the car in every way, shape and form. For example, if you want the um, front trunk open, two taps and it opens. And as you can see, plenty of storage space in there because there's no engine. This all-wheel drive SUV can go from 0 to 100 in just 5 seconds and has a range of up to 475 kilometers on a single charge. The standard model has 259 horsepower on both the front and rear wheels, while the Performance Edition has 259 on the front and 503 horsepower on the rear. The front panel in the Model X is absolutely fantastic. It's very large. You can control absolutely everything from the front panel that you desire. For example, with the doors, we can open up any of the panel doors just by pressing a button. The same way as well is when a particular door has been opened, we have the option to also close it by just pressing close all. The beautiful thing about the Model X is it's really, really spacious and great for a family. And if you're trying to get the kids in the back or you want to get in the back yourself as a passenger, there's absolutely loads of space. I'm five foot 11 and I can stand up quite comfortably on the panel here and step into a car a lot differently. Instead of contorting my body, I can just stand up, get in the position that I want and then sit down. And the beautiful thing that's really easy as well, very easy to control the doors from the outside. Pull a little switch and the door closes. After just one full year on the market, it ranks seventh best amongst the world's best-selling plug-in cars. The main feature that everyone talks about in the Teslas is, of course, uh, the autopilot. Uh, that's the whole reason for buying a car that can drive itself. Really easy to turn on uh, while you're driving, on a motorway, of course, on a highway. Um, you get to the speed that you desire and you flick on cruise control, which is this paddle underneath the steering wheel. Once that's turned on, you then press the paddle twice. You hear the beep and autopilot's engaged. And we're now driving over the Harbour Bridge and the car is driving itself. If there's a vehicle in front, it senses it and it will slow down according to the speed of that vehicle, which is absolutely outstanding. One of the things no doubt you'll have to do with a Tesla is charge it. And I figured out how to do it. The charger is located here quite nicely on the passenger side. And to access it, just push the button in and it opens. The charger for every Tesla is located handily in the boot. Simply take out this big nozzle, walk over to your charging station, take it out the back here and plug it in. That locks it. And take the other end for Tesla, plug it in. It locks and hits stop. And now you'll see on the back here that the Tesla is charging. We also wanted to get some other people's opinions, so we took them out for a spin and then asked them what they thought. I was blown away by its, its acceleration, the way it drove, and certainly when uh, you put it into um, self-drive mode, well, that's just, that's just gobsmacking. The, the most impressive feature was the autopilot, and the technology behind it has, it has to be just like so advanced, and it, yeah, that was the best part. Yeah, I felt the uh, dash layout, uh, just the look of it was kind of quite Americanized, which I guess it is an American car. Um, I would have probably preferred something a little bit more of a Euro feel to it. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty awesome piece of machinery. Um, yes, very cool car. I'd love to get one myself, hopefully, maybe. When it comes to driving at night, the main display panel in the Tesla automatically adjusts so it doesn't become too obtrusive on your eyes and distract you. Also, the lights are completely automatic, which makes driving around in the evening a complete breeze. One of the many cool features about the Tesla Model X is, of course, the Easter eggs. And what better one than to show you than the Christmas one where basically the car dances. Now, it's very easy to activate. 
all you do is you put your finger on the Tesla sign at the top here, hold it down for about 5-10 seconds, it flashes, and then the sign will come up saying please enter in an access code. And the access code for this is capital M, model, and then capital X, M, A, S. Then you click on OK. You see there it says, Model X, Christmas show, please exit the vehicle, and then the show will begin. So let's see what it does. I think that this is absolutely amazing car. It's extremely eco-friendly. It doesn't consume any fuel, which means it doesn't pollute the air and water and our environment as a whole. Um, and the all this newest and crazy technology just makes it 10 times better. And the way that the car can park itself is amazingly great, especially for the people like me <laughs> who cannot parallel park. Regrettably, my time with the Tesla Model X 90D had drawn to a close. It was my first electronic car experience and the first time I'd actually tried autopilot. I can honestly say this car tops my wish list and I'm excited to see what's next with the brand with the forthcoming Model 3 and Model Y. For a few short days I actually felt like I was living in the future, but was this reality or was it all just a dream?